saying things people already know out loud is tight. Get out of my head! It's cool to know other people think about this stuff too. This is... Hey! If you don't stop, I will contact the Usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI and Bruce Chew videos have been doing um, unusually high number of views on my channel lately. My guess is that there's a much bigger channel out there that's recently discovered it and somehow my videos are getting caught up in the algorithm which is fine with me so I've been really uh, paying attention to that and Hank Sandy in the comments of one of my videos said you really got to go back and watch them from the beginning because there's a lot of running jokes that happen throughout these videos that you know originate early on in the series so I went back to have a look and the early videos are all super short they're only like two minutes each so we're gonna have a look at the first five Bruce Stewart uploads that he ever did. This goes back nine years ago. The first one is called Walker Texas Ranger, which already has my complete attention. I found Walker Texas Ranger to be hilarious. Uh, long before Conan O'Brien was doing the Walker Texas Ranger lever, uh, me and my dad used to talk about how he had a plastic hat and a plastic beard. It was a running joke in my house back in the 90s when Walker Texas Ranger was still like on TV with new episodes. I've always found Chuck Norris and Walker Texas Ranger to be absolutely hilarious. I don't know if it's a case where I can't find Chuck Norris hilarious because Chuck Norris can't be found or something like that. <laughs> but Chuck is the best, Walker's the best, Bruce Juice fucking awesome as well. Let's check out Walker Texas Ranger. BruceDew.com now, I had a favorite TV show as a kid, just like every kid. It was fucking Walker, obviously. Chuck Norris, he sung the fucking theme song, The Eyes of a Ranger. Now that's fucking hot, dude. That <laughs> the Eyes of a Ranger, the unsuspecting stranger. <laughs> that was my joint when I was a kid. You did not fuck with that song. I seen him fucking catch a fucking chainsaw blade in his bare hands. Now, I, personally, never carried the burden of Walker. And it's a pretty fucking heavy burden to carry around with. You gotta fucking save your imaginary girlfriend, and you gotta save fucking C.D. Parker's fat ass. My buddy would be like, hey, no, I'm fucking Walker. Now, I should have been like, you'd be Trevette. Motherfuck, I'm a 11. I got fucking shit going on right in my life. I got the same fucking khaki shorts on as you do. Why the fuck should you be Walker? I can throw a backspin kick just better than any fucking 11 year old walking these streets <laughs> but no i was resigned i was like you want to be walking man fucking hey go to work buddy his best friend was a black cop who rarely got the limelight his name was corvette all right some shit like Trevette. that fucking trevette <laughs> that's right walker's butt ass sidekick fucking always getting into some shit walker <laughs> guess what has come through in a fucking pinch and save him and i was comfortable with that i was like yeah time me the fuck up what the fuck ever i don't have to save me come get my ass out of some shit i'll hit the other second guy because you know there was always walker main bad guy trevet second tier bad guy <laughs> wasn't it weird that the second tier bad guy was always like exactly knew the same shit as trevet Whereas the number one bad guy always knew the same shit as Walker. The best part for me is that I absorbed the character so much when I'd fucking watch Walker, I'd be like, man, Trevette, do something sweet. So tomorrow when we fucking play, I can have some fucking balls or something. That was my self-esteem as a fucking kid encapsulized right there. <laughs> Wow, that is some early fucking Bruce Drew right there, and it really fucking shows. But again, you can see the 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 glimpses of what it's going to be. Is that a different guy's voice though? It, the humor was very similar, but I, I is this like a team of dudes? I feel like I should really fucking know this by now, but. Man, Walker, Texas Ranger, you cannot go fucking wrong with that show. I think my favorite uh, scene from Walker, Texas Ranger is there's a guy driving towards him in a car and Walker jumps in the air and he fucking fly kicks the guy through the windshield, knocks him out. Like he, he fly kicks a car that's, fly, that's driving directly at him and knocks out the driver with his foot. That is some next level shit. In fact, if you like Walker, go check out this Bollywood character called Singham. S-I-N-G-H-A-M. He is absolutely fucking nuts. He's basically, what if the Chuck Norris memes 
were an actual character and it's fucking hilarious go have a look at him on youtube the next one is called bruce jew i would rather and again this is a 51 second video so let's have a look bruce.com Going to that fucking mall. Well, that's fine. I don't really want to go to the mall with you anyway. You smell like pee. Ugh, I'd rather sandpaper the ass of love an alligator than go with your little punk ass. Well, that's fine. I'd rather poop the world's largest pine cone than go with you. I'd rather storm the beaches of Normandy in a wheelchair. I'd rather have Grandma read me Fifty Shades of Grey. I'd rather breastfeed Hamble Lecter. I'd rather get a prison tattoo from Michael J. Fox. I'd rather fuck a garbage disposal. I'd rather give a mountain lion a lap dance. Oh, I'd rather have a hysterectomy by Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> what the fuck? <clears throat> Why do I feel like that video was like a test run on the animation style because that's the second that's the second ever upload oh fuck where am i going where am i going because that's only the second upload and it looks like it's all animations after that so let's have a look at the next one this is called el dentist um let's see what el dentist is all about <laughs> okay i hate the dentist you hate the dentist Everybody hates the fucking dentist. A few weeks ago, every time I woke up, my mouth just killed me. It drove me crazy. It felt like Shawn Michaels would just dance his way into my room and just sweet chin music me right in the face every morning. So I go to the dentist. This place is right between uh, a pawn shop and like uh, a strip club. The assistant comes in. She's like, okay, I'm going to put my fingers in your mouth and then I'm going to scrape them with this big metal sickle and then you're going to pay us. So I'm laying there while she's scraping me with these Freddy Krueger claws, and she's like, okay, let's get some x-rays. They throw this heavy-ass vest that's completely made out of lead, and I'm like, what the hell is this for? And she's like, oh, it's to protect your body from the x-ray. So I'm sitting there looking like I'm in a Jason Statham movie with my bulletproof vest on, and all I can think about is the shit ton of cancer that I'm getting with every picture she's taking. She comes back into the room and she's like, okay, let's take a look at those pictures of your cancer, I mean your teeth. <laughs> she tells me my one wisdom tooth is coming in sideways. It's practically doing a somersault in my goddamn head. Basically, it looks like this. All my teeth look great. They're all hanging out, you know, they're watching, they're watching scrubs okay. and they're, they're fucking eating nachos. All of a sudden, this guy right here, he's all like, Hey guys, uh, do you mind if I'm, you know, start acting like an asshole? Uh, I don't know. That doesn't really sound like Yeah, I'm going to be an asshole anyways. So I schedule an appointment to get him taken out <laughs> next week. So for a whole week, I'm Courtney loving it on ibuprofen while the heartbreak kid whoops my ass every single day. When I finally get to the dentist, I'm like, Get it! Out of me! Because I was about to be Tom Hanks in Castaway and take it out with a goddamn ice skate. So their plan was not to put me under, but to dope me up enough so that I couldn't really remember what the hell happened to me. So I start falling asleep, which is good. That's what happens to most people. They fall asleep and they take them out and they never even know what happened. They don't even remember anything. <clears throat> but I wake up right when they start. And I remember everything they did. I remember the sound of my tooth just crunching. Yeah, really? Hang on, seriously, like, is that not normal that you don't get put under? Because I've had one of my uh, teeth ripped out like that, and I was just awake, and they just, yeah, same thing. <laughs> you can just hear it fucking cracking. You can, like, see them, like, wrenching it out with a fucking, you know, some sort of instrument. It's fucked up, man. <laughs> I can remember the blood. His foot was on my head for leverage. And I <laughs> yeah. felt like my head was going to explode. At one point, at one point, he looked directly at my eyes and seen they were open. And he didn't say a damn thing. And the ironic <laughs> thing is, is I don't remember anything after that. I don't remember the car ride home. The last thing I remember is them wheeling me out in a wheelchair with a prescription of, of Vicodin. And I'm just like, do I look? Pretty now. <laughs> so eight hundred dollars later, I'm left with a bloody mouth and a traumatic experience. At least they gave me the Vicodin because I could probably sell it to a lady at Kmart for half my money back. Wow. 
Oof. Going to the dentist is not a fun experience uh, whatsoever, man. I've only had to have one uh, one tooth pulled in my like adult years, and it was a fucking. It was fucked, man. Like, yeah, I don't recommend it. I'm not looking forward to getting older and if my teeth start getting fucked, but. Let's have a look at Branded by Harold. This is, again, just a little one minute video, and then we've got one more after that, and then we'll wrap it up. But let's have a look at some more Bruce Duke. BruceDuke.com. Hey, I'm Harold from Branded by Harold Tattoo Shop, and I'm here to announce all next week is Kids Week. You got a kid? Bring him down here for a nice tattoo. For just $5.99, I'll do your kid's favorite cartoon character. I want a tattoo. Well, hey there, little girl. What kind of cartoon do you want? I want SpongeBob. Well, I don't know what a SpongeBob <laughs> is, so how about a nice Porky the Pig? I can do any <laughs> tattoo that you want. <laughs> cartoon characters. Chicken nuggets, the S you used to draw in third grade. I could do a lawnmower on fire on top of a birthday cake that says two for a dollar underneath it. I'll let you get a tattoo for two dollars and ninety-nine cents if you let me write my name on the bottom for advertisement. Anything you want, as long as it's not hands, cause who the fuck can draw hands? So come on down to Branded by Held, and you can get your kid a fly-ass tattoo. Wow. Branded by Held. Uh, I, what was that? That reminded me of the, the Crawdaddy from um, The League. <laughs> um, for those that have seen that TV show. Well, let's have a look at the last one here. Bruce Jew, Aware Apple... Uh, oh, this one looks different. Let's have a look at it. You see, Doctor, I just, I, I get this feeling like nothing is real. And I, I could die at any time. Yeah, well, we all die, Mr. Apple. You do know that. Wow, Doc, you know, you're not making me feel any better here. Well, don't be a whiny bitch, that's all I'm saying. Hey, man, I'm paying you big bucks here. Actually, you paid me in baby carrots. I don't know what you expect me to do with those. Please, mister, we want to go home. Shut up, you belong to me now. I'm starting to doubt Whoa. your validity. What school did you say you graduated from? Oh, uh, I, I graduated from the University of, uh, of, of Things. Uh, anyways, let's, let's keep it on you. You know what? Whatever. The other day, for example, I was talking to Broccoli, you know, and we were having a good conversation about good food and a little Chinese place I like to go to. I looked away, and when I looked back, I don't know how to describe it. He just wasn't right. I think I'm going crazy. The slow walk away at the end. I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Clearly this is not the first time everybody has turned into like 3D lifelike fruit from cartoon form before. But that was really, really fucking interesting to watch. I've been enjoying Bruce Jew. It's been a great, uh, you know, corner of my channel that I've been doing reactions to for a while now. And I actually have some hope of being able to do something similar using my own experiences. I've got some animation software and I don't know, I'm going to have a toy around with it and see if I can, you know, pay homage to Bruce Jew, but use that similar kind of formula to tell the same kind of stories that I have to share from my own uh, upbringing and my own life experience as well. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that kind of stuff. Go have a look at all the other Bruce Jew on the channel. I'm sure a lot of you already have because the numbers are telling me that. Thank you for all the support, everyone. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace.